Apostle Josie Suleiman's wife to finally break silence. She don't come out now to defend the husband. Make her not talk too much. See, this woman, she get plan. She get plan. Make, make we watch her together. Share this video. Make both the blackmailers, both the uh, uh, apostles, both the supporters, both his, his church members, everybody need to see. Make we not buy bail. Suleiman, why they come home? Suleiman, why they come with plenty, plenty prayers? So she says she be praying, woman, or she they call Bible. We could not watch. My name is Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman, the wife of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Now, ordinarily, I don't like media appearances. But at this point, for the purpose of clarity, I will have to speak. Now, I have known my husband for the past 19 years. And if you are living with a man who is promiscuous or an adulterous person, you will know, especially if you are an intelligent and a smart woman. I have to speak because I wanted to now appear like it's a woman-to-woman -woman talk. I have heard all kinds of rubbish and the nonsense this lady has been talking about that has gone viral on the internet. That is not my husband. And let me quickly say this. For 19 years, I have been with my husband, even all through the years of courtship and in marriage. I have never for once had any problem whatsoever over a woman. We have never had issues over a woman. And then you can just imagine. And listen, for all the pictures that have been released, you can as well decide to send more pictures. Mind you, it will never and can never stop the real picture of my husband in my heart. Of course, you can see that the pictures released are photoshopped. By the grace of God, I'm a trained journalist, a mass communicator, and anybody who is good at graphics and is into photography should understand what I'm talking about. These pictures are fake. They are fake pictures. And so now, I want the, the issue, the problem with most Nigerians is that they are so gullible. They believe everything. They want to listen to everything. I'm coming up to, I'm coming up to say this just because of those that feel or think, oh, we are confused. We don't know what, that is not my husband. Please, if you are very good at photography, like I said, take a closer look at the photos. They are, we are all planned out and they are all fake. Now, I also discovered, as a matter of fact, I've been the one checking out and following up everything that has been happening. As I speak to you right now, my husband is having a minister's conference. This is a man who fears God, a man who loves God, a man who is going after his father's business, the business of the things of the kingdom. He's always in the mission feed. And then a lady will just come out and start saying all kinds of nonsense. And people who are so gullible will want to believe this. For 19 years, like I said, not for one day. If you are an intelligent woman, if you are a smart woman, there is no way a man will be living that kind of life or probably maybe that is his lifestyle. There is no way a woman will not be able to detect that. There is no way a woman will not be able to find out that this is the kind of life the husband is living. That's not my husband. Now listen, you, you, you people can send the kind of pictures, you can release even more pictures if you want to, but that will never change anything. It will never change my stand, it will never change the law that I have for my husband. He's a good man. The problem is that people just want to take advantage of his good attitude. He loves to give and he will never stop giving. He wants to make people happy. And my husband is somebody that will not see anybody cry out for any reason. He wants to help. And 
This, especially if the person is even a total stranger. And I also encourage him to give. He will never, listen, your good will never kill you. He will not stop giving. He will continue to give. So the fact that he has assisted one person and then the person will come out to say, this is just cheap blackmail. And let me quickly say something here. This uh, video or whatever pictures that is going viral on the internet, I will advise you, for everyone that is quick at listening to lies on the internet, I want to advise you, it is not the best. You will first of all reason, you don't know, think of the kind of person or the personality we are talking about here. This is a man who loves to help people. We have seen it on several occasions, how he has helped widows, how he has helped the orphans. We have people on our, on our scholarship scheme, he cannot stop giving and he will not stop giving. So the fact that he has helped somebody, let's not make that, uh, use that as an advantage. We know, the, the, we know what is really going on. We are not surprised, we know what is going on. And you can see that from the day my husband said that they should stop the killing of Christians. Everybody, who those who are not happy with that statement, they are doing everything possible. You cannot pull down the lost anointed. You can't do that. I like what the Bible says. In Psalm 105 from verse 13. He said they go from one place to another, from one nation to another. He suffer no man to do them wrong. He said, reprove kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. It doesn't matter how many they are. I want to assure you that there is no way. Listen, this thing is not even a target. The, the church is not even a target. Because of course you know that the church of God must march forward. That the, my marriage is the target. But it, it, it's, so, it's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate that all this plan and all this... That this is, this is me. Let's, let's, see, this is me talking to you right now. We are fine. As I speak to you, my husband is even having a minister's conference. He's going to be ministering, ministering today. And the program is actually starting today as I speak to you to talk to pastors. That is what he's been busy doing, the work of the kingdom. This is a man that fears God. This is a man that loves God. He's a practitioner of the word. So please, I want to beg you, all those who are very quick at, you know, reasoning and interpreting things the wrong way, stop it. It is not the best. And you lady, let me speak to you. I want to quickly make you understand that the person, the people you are dealing with, they are God's own people. And I will never fail to quickly say this. A woman who is a praying woman, like a songwriter, will say, those who fight on their knees, they've got victory in the spirit. I am a praying woman. And I will not stop praying until the judgment of God visits you. I want to say once again, to all those that believe in Apostle Suleiman, all those who love Apostle Suleiman, just keep loving him. Pray for him. That is the only thing you can give to him. Pray for him. No matter anything that is happening, that will never change my stand. It will never change the law that I have for him. This man has a heart of gold. And this is what people are capitalizing on. The only weakness I know my husband has is that he loves to give. And can you imagine? There is no way you can use that to fight a man because God will fight you. So please, it's just a word of encouragement to those who believe, oh, we have seen pictures released. We have seen, oh, this one is real. It's not... This thing is not real. That is not Apostle Johnson Suleiman. That is not my husband that I know for about 19 years now. I want to pray for you. God bless you. God bless you. Just keep praying for him. And I know that all is well. God bless you.